The military juntas of Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger have written to the UN Security Council to denounce what they said was Ukraine's support for rebel groups in West Africa's Sahel region, Mali's foreign ministry said. Mali cut diplomatic ties with Ukraine in early August over comments by a spokesperson for Ukraine's military intelligence agency, Andriy Yusov, about fighting in Mali's north that killed Malian soldiers and mercenaries from the Russian Wagner Group in late July. The military government of Niger followed suit days later in solidarity with its neighbor. Yusov had said Malian rebels had received necessary information to conduct a successful military operation. Mali and Niger interpreted Yusuf's comments as an admission of Ukraine's direct involvement in the conflict, and accused it of supporting international terrorism as a result. Ukraine has repeatedly called the allegations groundless and untrue. Its foreign ministry did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The country is still locked in heavy fighting with Russia more than two years after Moscow's invasion. A Tuareg rebel alliance has also said it did not receive any Ukrainian support. Both ethnic Tuareg separatists and jihadist insurgents operate in North Mali. The Tuareg said they had killed at least 84 Wagner mercenaries and 47 Malian soldiers over days of fierce fighting in July. An Al-Qaeda affiliate separately said it had killed 50 Wagner mercenaries and 10 Malian soldiers in an ambush on one of those days. In their letter to the Security Council, the foreign ministers of Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso asked it to take responsibility for Ukraine's actions and to prevent subversive acts that threaten regional and continental stability. Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger have turned their backs on traditional Western and regional allies in favor of Russia since their juntas took power over the past four years.